hello and welcome welcome to this installment of well where I show you what I've done um let's have a look at here you have the readme of the project yeah use at your own risk blah 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 well it's it's safe so just have to put it there in case someone decides to sue me and um, here we have the file we looked at last time. Here we have the here we have a, here ha I have added circles. I get circles now, yay! And I've got rectangles. Um, the constructor, as as in last time, the declaration of the thingies and. Um, look at the program so I have now I am now in my working directory in uh, the tests shapes take and I type make test and it compiles and I get this here we see hey look it changed in color amazing and it's actually it actually works pretty well this Edge detection or containment detection, and um, well, let's see how that is made, how that's done. So here we have all the old stuff. Oh, one more thing, I have actually re-implemented the. I have actually re-implemented the um, FPS limiter, so it doesn't uh, move as damn fast as it did earlier. So anyway, here we have an here we have the if statement that if else statement that checks if if the mouse cursor is inside. And uh, as you can see, we have an, we have an uh, every circle has a is inside the circle object object has an is, is inside then I use the uh, then I get the current uh, mouse event and to point as the is inside takes a point then I cal calculate the uh, position or if it is inside or not then I do uh, the metric on it or the do the operation sorry <coughs> And uh, then we have what more? What more? Uh, yes, we have this. See this little thing here changes its color. As you can see in the terminal here, up and down, up and down, up and down. And um, yeah, this actually took wasn't that was actually this was actually quite hard to do. So I had to look it up on the interwebs how to do this. So you circle here we get a constructor for a circle, the axis radius and blah blah blah. To expect it's actually the same as in. Uh, in the STL GFX. And now my my father is printing a file, as you can hear in the background. Anyway, and here we have uh, the function that I used to calculate. It was taken from a uh, board somewhere on the internet. And yeah, and here we have this inside and all of that crap and you can take a look at uh, you can look more into the processing file this time here we have mouse down here it actually checks if uh, my mouse event is dot is down and my mouse event is calculated or, or uh, executed or we're gonna say in um, 
process uh, process events somewhere 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 process events there I have not look, taken a look at this code for so long clear get color stop mouse down mouse event get mouse event process events here we go and here you can see calculate so the, the mouse event is it's done here and yeah and you can, as you saw in here we have the two point and mouse events are can take a look at this mouse events are actually structs so and in Vala you can have functions in structs so you can do stuff like two point awesome anyway that is all for me now goodbye